Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and here it is, the brand new Motorola Droid X2. See, it says so on the box. So uh, speaking of the box, tell you what, let's open it up. This is the official retail version that you will get at Verizon and it is not impressive at all. So uh, inside you have a micro USB cord and a charger and that's it. So toss that aside. Here's the phone, this is what we care about. Let's turn it on and take a quick look. So uh, yeah, it looks and feels like a Motorola Droid X. They really changed almost nothing as far is the industrial design of the phone um yeah can't really uh, say much that's really the only difference right there no camera button so they got rid of that i'm a little sad uh you got the volume rocker there on the right up top you have the power button and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a little pinhole mic for noise canceling uh down on the bottom you have the same buttons in the same order menu home back and search and you've got your uh, voice mic on the left hand bezel you have micro usb and hdmi out so micro usb you'll use for charging the back almost exactly the same as well the battery cover comes off the exact same way you have the same 8 megapixel camera with dual flash uh let's open this up and take a look and look at that it's the exact same battery same size same everything nothing's really changed uh you have the same little tab that you use to pull it out and once you do there is your micro sd card comes out exactly the same way has not changed at all so uh in fact we'll show you let's bring up the original droid x and boom there it is so this is one of the early ones before they changed the battery tab cover to red yeah we noticed these things so let's pop the battery back in and take a look and fire this guy up again yeah come on there we go all right so uh, what else do you need to know about this while we're talking about it so you've got the same uh screen as before it's still 4.3 inches but the resolution has been upped it's now qhd uh it's now dual core we've seen that before and you know it's going to be faster it's going to be a little better on your battery life which is great but the phone is not lte right it's still a 3g phone uh, i tell you what let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison as long as this is booting up here and look at that i mean you really can't tell the difference between the two of them other than the camera button i'm totally going to return the wrong phone when i send this review unit back it's going to happen i guarantee it so uh, you have the stencil that says droid x2 on the back maybe they did that for uh my purposes i'm not sure <laughs> um what else you know it, other than the camera button right it's really the only physical difference you can see on the outside of the phone no camera button so all right we are booted back up and that's pretty quick it's not bad at all uh let's see what else so this has blur on it or you know the skin and the services so unfortunate but you can put another launcher on it i would prefer motorola get rid of the services the skin doesn't bother me but it's the services i don't like uh let's dive into about phone and see what we're dealing with it is android 2.2.2 again disappointing we're not seeing gingerbread out of the box but i can say with all certainty that this will get gingerbread at some point in time it's just a matter of when uh let's see the apps we have installed already kindle city id grrr, uh, file manager fm radio so kind of all the normal stuff we're used to at this point right nfl mobile need for speed shift no i don't want to open that up uh come on there we go back to the launcher i do like the launcher it's nice and fast i like vertical launchers slacker radio that's cool to see so, I mean, no surprises there at all. Oh, uh, what else? How about, let's look at storage. So not a whole lot of storage on this thing. It's a little surprising. So it looks like you're sharing internal memory between the program memory and actual internal storage. They gave us an eight gigabyte uh, micro SD card with this thing that will also work with Windows Media Sync out of the box. Okay. Uh, you do have Wi-Fi tethering and USB tethering. That is good to see. That is all important, but again, it's not an LTE phone, it's 3G. So, you know, you're going to have to, you know, decide. If you're not in a three if you're not in an LTE area, you know, no brainer, right? No big deal. Uh, what else? Keyboards. We have swipe. Cool. That's good to see. Always enjoy seeing swipe on a phone. Oh, uh, what else? What else? What else? So, that's kind of it, right? It's a normal uh, Droid X. We're going to put this thing through its paces since it's dual core and uh, really see what's going on. See the uh, gallery has been revamped a little bit that's cool again it's the new version of blur but all in all kind of the same look and feel of the phone so there you go guys a very quick look at the new droid x2